So a 14-year-old girl wrote to the advice columnist at Slate wanting to know how to convince her parents to let her get on Instagram during the pandemic. She says she misses her classmates, she's got stuff to share, but her parents won't let her on social media until she's 18. So Christina and Lauren, you've got a 10, a 13, and a 19-year-old among the two of you. So what would you do in this situation? So my son is 13 and he does have Instagram. Um, he pretty much just uses it to watch like skateboard fails and pet videos. He doesn't use it really to keep up with his friends. Um, my daughter may or may not get it when she's 13. Um, it's sort of in our house, the philosophy that you don't just get social media at a certain age. You kind of have to earn it with maturity. And I do worry that it is different for girls. She is also a more sensitive kiddo. I wouldn't want her to feel left out if she was seeing her friends out there either not wearing masks and being unsafe and not socially distancing, um, you know, and feeling left out in that way. But again, it would be something she would earn. So I think it's kind of up to every family to figure out how it works best for their kids. Mm -hmm. Uh, my daughter is How have you na navigated. Oh, what? Sorry. How has you have you navigated with your kids? I know they're a little bit older. Yes. So my daughter turns 20 next month. So we're a little bit beyond that, but it's kind of a double edged sword because on the one hand, you know, she's an only child. She would be really isolated, you know, without, you know, being able to see anything, but she's also like Lo said, seeing her friends out there, you know, they're hanging out, they're going to parties, they're, you know, doing all kinds of stuff without her. So, I mean, it's hard. It's hard. It's interesting to hear, Christina, your perspective as the parent of an only child, because I also have one child. And um, that's going to be the challenge is because I've always said she's often alone, but never lonely. But, you know, that's yeah. where social media changes things and can maybe mess with them for better or for worse. Like, we're not sure yet. And um, we talk, we keep talking about it on this show, but the documentary, The Social Dilemma, and how, you know, there is this unknown impact, or maybe beginning, we are beginning to know the impact on very young brains. And so as an adult, you know, we have to manage a lot navigating social media as adults. Um, but, you know, mm -hmm. for little brains and little children, that's the fear that I have, which is, you know, what is the right age? I love what you said, Lauren, that they have to earn that mm -hmm. privilege via maturity, which might be a good way to go. But at this stage, it's do as I do. No, do as I say, not as I do, because part of mom's job is being on social media. So I'm going to have to navigate because I have no idea what I'm going to do with my daughter. She's only six. And in my mind, I'd like to say 16, but maybe she's going to be more mature and she can handle earlier. Maybe she can't handle it till she's 36. I mean, I have no idea. Well, I, I like what Lauren said, too, about earning it. And this kid certainly did. She seems smart. She doesn't want to lie to her parents, this 14-year-old girl. She doesn't want to come up with an account and not tell them about it. She would privatize the account. She would even let her parents follow her account. She's doing it. She, I like the cut of her jib, quite frankly. I'm sold. And I also love that her parents are saying 18 years old. That tells me that they're they're really concerned and cautious and they love their kid. But is it realistic, 18 years old? Like, if she can drive a car at 16, surely she can, you know, post a selfie in a privatized account, you know, at 14 <laughs> since she is showing herself. She has earned it, I think. She's really, really bright. Mm. Mm, great point, oh, I Thanks, bud. Yeah. And, you know, I follow my son, but I also have full access to his account. So I can read his DMs. I can see what he's posting. I can delete things. I can unfollow people. Like, I have full control over it. And I think that's the way it makes me comfortable is when I don't just have access by following, I have access by control. I also think parents give themselves a false sense of security by saying no sometimes. I worked in a junior high school before I started writing full-time, and a lot of times kids have these things. They're just hiding them in a folder, in an app thing, you know, and they it's better. I, I mean, I think the, the goal of all of this, I think, is to come out of it healthy with as few bumps as possible, but um, this kid is clearly mature.